This is the news that is the news on WEBIM, Everything's Better in Matter, reporting live from downtown Matter. This is Percy Peabody with the news that is the news. Our own WEBIM roving reporter, Ima J. Rigamaro, has surveyed all the local churches in our area to come up with all the diverse sayings that are actually found in a church bulletin. We have a few to share with our audience tonight. For those of you who have children and don't know it, we have a nursery downstairs. <laughs> Weight Watchers will meet at 7 p.m. at the First Presbyterian Church. Please use the large double doors at the rear entrance. The associate minister recently unveiled the church's new tithing campaign slogan last Sunday morning. It is, I up my pledge, up yours. Now, getting down to business on the local scene, the rest of our news segment tonight will be based on our local Metter Candler Chamber of Commerce. We'll take you on a journey of the events and the experiences that began last January and continued through an adventurous year for our chamber. This is how it began. The former executive director of 27 years retired at the end of 2011. Someone once said that when a man retires, his wife gets twice the husband and half the money. I don't know if that applies in this case. <laughs> at that time, we hired a new curly red-headed woman to be our director, and she came in and hit the ground running. The easiest way for you to get a redhead to argue with you is just say something. <laughs> and usually if you find somebody that does a good job, you give them another job. So that's what the chamber in the city did. They incorporated the better hometown director and the executive director for the chamber and the welcome center into one position. To help with this work, they hired a full-time welcome center coordinator and chamber assistant. And through their efforts, they renovated the old commissary building out by I-16, had a grand reopening, and a celebration was hosted. Now we switch to video footage with our roving reporter, Ima J. Rigamaro, to update us on what transpired around the annual meeting time of January of last year. Thank you, Percy. Some of you folks may remember when that fella from Mickey D's, Kevin McRib, handed over the gavel to that new chairman lady, Big Daddy's little girl, Linda B. Williamson, at last year's annual meeting. Well, things took an unexpected turn, and here's the chairman-elect, Dirty Double D Durden, to tell you more about it. Well, you know... When that there committee approached me about sitting in that there chair, I wasn't all that keen about the situation at all. But y'all know how hard it is to say no to that red-headed Riggs gal. So when Miss Lender took ill, I tried to feed her some of Grandpappy's home brew. But come to find out, it wasn't helping the situation. But I was real nervous about stepping up. But you know what? I think we had a pretty good year, if you ask me. Yes, sir -y. A mighty fine year. Well, thank you, Dirty. Yes, sir, this year's been finer than a frog hair split 40 ways. All right, y'all, this is Ima J. Rigamaro reporting from that fancy-dancy telephone company called Pineland in beautiful downtown Metter. Back to you, Percy, and oh, don't forget, go Tigers! Thank you, Ima J. Good report. Last year, there were several businesses opening in our community, and ribbon cuttings were hosted on each one. The first one in January was Mrs. G's. Boy, I love to go to Mrs. G's to eat that good cooking. Next opening was Antiques by Myra, and Latter Years Treasures, also owned by Myra's Partners. Miss Myra has opened so many businesses, we had to sharpen the scissors twice on our ribbon cutting. <laughs> Next in line was O'Reilly's Parts Store. They got more parts than Granny Goose has got tater chips. My wife told me that our car had water in the carburetor. 
And I thought I was going to have to go to O'Reilly's. I said, where's the car? She said, in the lake. <laughs> the next business to open was Verizon, where you can get a cell phone. In October, we opened Pizza Hut. Guy called him up about the first day. Said, how many slices of pizza y'all got in that large pizza you got? She said, there's eight slices, sir. He said, well, I want to order a large, but just cut it in four slices. I can't eat eight. <laughs> also throughout the year, we had several business after hours. That's where businesses get together to network and fellowship together and just find out what each other's doing. The first one was Pineland State Bank that was hosted during the Relay for Life event. Old Stephen Rigdon, my buddy, works over there at Pineland Bank. He told me that one day a guy come in there and asked him how to start a small business. And he said, what you do is you start a large business and wait six months. <laughs> then we had a pig picking at Metter Bank. They eat everything but the squeal. You heard of Greasy Palms? G.W. Johnson went home with greasy lips that night. Also, we hosted a coffee connection at Guido Garden. It was too hot to trot and the coffee was hot. The next one was at Counter County Farm Bureau with Terry Manuel and all his staff. Boiled peanuts were enjoyed by all. The next one was at IHS Pharmacy, one of the biggest business after hour events that we have and it's around Christmas time. Story was told of a woman that went into a pharmacy and told the pharmacist she wanted to buy some cyanide. He said, what you going to do with it? She said, well, I'm going to kill my husband. He said, oh, no, we can't do that. They'll lock you and me up. She reached in her purse and pulled out a picture of her husband and the pharmacist's wife together. He said, oh, you didn't tell me you had a prescription. <laughs> in February, we hosted the Eggs and Issues with Senator Jack Hill and Representative Butch Parrish. I enjoyed the eggs, but I could have done without some of the issues. <laughs> Chamber Public Affairs Committee welcomed Secretary of State Brian Kemp, Senator Johnny Isaacson at the depot, hosted Rick Allen, congressional candidate, and Congressman John Barra at the town hall. Barra had his guns with him because as the word goes, ain't nobody going to take them away. We had two job fairs hosting over 400 employees and 16 employers. Over 44% were from outside the Counter County area. Crowder Poultry, McDonald's, Briggs and Stratton, and One Life was the co-host. Also, we hosted the 19th annual Blooming Festival, reporting over 15,000 people from around the southeast. We also had a pound cake eating contest, an Easter egg hunt where they found two eggs from the previous year. We had a bike ride and a fun run. The chamber graduated its first Candler leadership group of 13 Candler County students. Also, we awarded the first chamber business student scholarship to Aaron Boykin of Metter High School. Kind of reminds me when I first started the school here. The first day of school, I remember, I went home and my mama said, Percy, did you learn anything today? I said, evidently not. I got to go back tomorrow. <laughs> Also, we awarded $5,000 in educational grants to support public schools. We need to support our teachers all we can because they put up with a lot. The Chamber also hosted the Travel Media Marketplace with over 14 riders from the U.S. Out of that visit, Metter was featured in two articles. One was in the August issue of the Georgia Magazine and the other in the nationally recognized Philadelphia's Sun article. You can always tell a Yankee, but you just can't tell him much. <laughs> the chamber sure did host a lot of folks last year, including the GMA Council, along with delegates from South Korea that visited our local peanut plant. When they left town, they said they were really nuts about matter. <laughs> The Chamber wants to educate businesses on what's going on in the world. Last year, they hosted several seminars to educate business leaders. We had the Department of Labor Veterans Incentive Program. We had Drugs Don't Do Work. And we had a social media 
seminar educating the people about Facebook and Twitter. You know, you can get on Facebook and tell who your friends are, <laughs> all of their bathroom habits, when their last root canal was, and how many grandchildren they have. My pastor told me, you need to get, your, get off of Facebook and get your face in the good book. Last year was the best membership drive in years. It was the best yet with adding 35 new members, now a total of 179 members to date. The Chamber published its first annual Metter Counter Community Magazine and Chamber Directory featuring former President Kevin Griner, his family, and all his pets, twice. <laughs> The Chamber annual gala and auction raised a record $25,000 to support all Chamber activities for 2013. Hold on folks, we just got a, a news break, breaking news. We're going to switch now live to Ima J. Rigamarole. I'm in the field. This is I'm a J Rigamarole reporting to you live from beautiful downtown Matter. I had the wonderful opportunity this morning to speak with Miss Linda B. Williamson. And guess what, folks? Breaking news, she's back. Now here's Linda for a little update. Hello, this is Linda Williamson coming to you from Georgia Power Company. I am so glad to be back on the Chamber Board here in Metter and Candler County, and I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to Dustin Durden for filling in for me this past year and doing such a great job leading our Chamber. I am so looking forward to this next year. We have a lot planned, and we have so much to be thankful in this community, and I thank you for all your support over the past year and look forward to a great 2013. Yes, sir, we are all blessed to have Miss Linda back here in Metter, Georgia for a wonderful 2013. Well, folks, that's it. This is Ima J. Rigamarole reporting to you live from downtown beautiful Metter. And don't forget, go Tigers! Thank you, Ima J. Good report. That's our news for tonight, folks. Looks like it's been a busy year for our local chamber. Before we go, just in off the wire, Statistics show that teenage pregnancy drops dramatically after age 25. Also, marriage is the number one cause of divorce. And our thought for the night, never take a sleeping pill and a laxative on the same night. Percy Peabody reporting live from WEBIM where everything's better in matter. Good night, everybody. Dog the hunt there. <laughs> <laughs>